guys. Um, it's been a while since I've actually made a video, um, but finally have a setup that I think is going to work at least for the moment. Uh, so today I'm just doing some sketching. I haven't been drawing as much as I should. Sorry about that, my cat was trying to jump on me. Um, so honestly I'm just trying to sketch, get back into drawing a little bit. Um, so this is the first one that I started on. It was from a photo um, by a photographer I follow on Instagram. I will link him down below. Uh, but I wasn't really happy with the way that the sketch was turning out. Um, I was getting pretty frustrated, especially trying to you know, get her face right. Um, she was wearing a shirt in the photo, but it was really hard to get that to come across, so it kind of just ended up looking like um, she was really lumpy, and it just looked really strange. So, um, coming up pretty soon, I get just get really frustrated and erase the whole thing, um, and then I start again on the page at the side. And then at first, I was starting to draw that same photo, but again, I was just getting frustrated, so I erased it and just started drawing something random for my head instead of from a reference. Um, so this is me just building up the layers of that. Um, I still wasn't particularly happy with this drawing, but that wasn't necessarily the point of this. Um, it had more to do with trying to get myself drawing again. Um, all of her features in here are really elongated, so it ended up looking kind of weird. But I just went with it and I painted it anyways, just, you know, get myself going. Wasn't trying to be too hard on myself about it. Um, so it's pretty much just a girl holding a glass of wine. It's no nothing super exciting or um, original. Mostly just, it's just a portrait, like I said, just to get myself drawing. I'm going to try to be recording more videos. Uh, for anyone who doesn't know, I live in San Francisco, and so I don't see a lot of sun, especially in my apartment. There's really only like three windows in the whole apartment, and they're all on the opposite side from my desk, so I don't get a lot of natural light um, with where I draw, and it makes it pretty hard to record. I um, pretty much just have to have all of the lights in the apartment on. Um, it's not the best lighting situation, but it kind of works. I just recorded this on my phone and it caught, it picked up on the light a lot better than using an actual camera did. So here I'm just starting to paint um, just basic watercolors, lay down a flat color for her skin tone, and add some blush and some shadows. Um, I added some skin um, on the on her bra and as well as the wine glass to kind of try to make um, a transparent effect. It didn't end up working very well on her bra. It um, worked a little bit better on the glass of wine. But I think that once I laid down the black in the bra, it pretty much just covered up any of the skin that I had laid down. See, so yeah, I'm just building up on the colors, trying to make it more vibrant. Um, some of my paints are really low quality, so it takes a lot of work to get them to look good. Just, again, laying down a lot of layers. Guess I've got a lot to learn. And then just adding lots of shadows. Um, for the shadows, I did this kind of reddish purple. Because um, I wanted to keep a pretty simple color palette. And then see here, I laid down the black on her bra and it pretty much just covered any of the skin tone that I had under there. And then actually, on her wine glass, I didn't intend for the fade. Um, but it happened and I kind of just went with it because I actually think that it ended up looking kind of cool. Um, so I'm nearly done with the sketchbook. I'm really looking forward to being finished with it. Um, I was happy with the sketchbook at first, but towards the end I was starting getting frustrated because 
pretty much all of the pens that I use in it feather. Um, so anything that I do in here it doesn't really end up looking super high quality. So I'm looking forward to trying out a new sketchbook coming up and seeing how that goes. And then, yep, just finishing up the inking here. Um, I like to do pretty bold lines typically. Just a little bit more detailing in her hair. And then I do end up outlining her, um, all the background of her, like around the edges, just to help her stand out a little bit. And that's it. Um, thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe. I'll be putting out some more videos pretty soon. Thanks.